Many stellar cycles ago, on a distant planet called Cybertron, an ancient race known as the Quintessons created an array of advanced machines to do their bidding. These machines were intelligent beings, capable of reason, fueled by the power of the Allspark, the core of Cybertron, which is capable of giving life. The cruel Quintessons worked the Cybertronian robots to the point of suffering, which soon led to a revolt. The Cybertronian robots declared war against the Quintessons, and each assumed an alternate mode, which they transformed into in order to increase travel efficiency or bring about advantages in combat. Soon after, the Cybertronian robots, now calling themselves Transformers for their newfound skill, defeated the Quintessons and drove what was left of them back to their planet from which they had spawned. For many centuries, the Transformers lived peacefully among themselves, led by 13 wise rulers known as the 13 Primes, until one of them, Megatronus, who was discontent and wanted more power, broke away and formed an alliance with any Transformer who would join his cause. Thus, the Transformers split into two parties, the Autobots and the Decepticons. Both parties promised peace to their people, though the Decepticons' intent was secretly very ill. Tensions grew between the sides, and war was drawing near. Among the Decepticons was a strong gladiator, Megatron, who derived his name from Megatronus, the Fallen Prime. Megatron won popularity among his fans who now viewed him as a politician, capable of restoring peace to Cybertron. He fooled many Autobots to join his cause, and raised up powerful armies built for destruction to wipe out any who stood in his way. However, it was not the end for the Autobots. Orion Pax, a young, aspiring leader who had once been close friends with Megatron, parted ways. He saw hope among the Autobot ranks, though they were less impressive and unequipped for war. Orion Pax was willing to take a stand with the Autobots, though it could be their last. He had a type of courage that could never die. Megatron gradually has begun to despise his old friend Orion Pax and has made him his sworn enemy. The same battle continues to this day. Hear me, all of you Decepticons. You all want to change, is that right? All of you want to get somewhere with your lives and live on a thriving planet, is that right? All of you want to change, an opportunity for achievement and success, a new age, is that right? All of you are tired of having your futures robbed from you. Is that right? All you want, my friends, is to get what you deserve for once. Elect me as your leader. I will give you what I have promised and much more. You will have an abundance of wealth and prosperity. More than you could have ever dreamed. You will live like your great, great ancestors. In peace, under the Decepticon Empire with safety, no war, nothing but what you want. I have heard your cries and I answer them. I will restore Cybertron. My friends, I see the weariness in your eyes. I too want nothing more than to see Cybertron restored. I want to return to the days of plenty and the days of rest and the days of happiness. I want peace just like all of you. And if those words mean something to you, my friends, stand with me. We can stand up to the Decepticons. 
They may have the power, but we have the courage. Though you may not feel it, you do have the strength. You do have what it takes to carry on. Megatron is relying on us to give up. And if we give up, he wins. Under Decepticon rule, Cybertron will never see its golden age restored. I trust in all of you. All of you have potential and greatness, and all of you have what it takes, and no one can tell you otherwise. I need your help if we are going to take back our planet and resurrect it from its ruins. Who's with me? I'm with you, Orion. I am, too. We've all got your back, Orion. Orion. Hello, Hoist. It's good to see you. Grapple. You're late. Yes, Orion. I'm sorry. I think nothing of it, my friend. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Orion. Orion Pax, did I not provide him with everything he has now? Without me, he would be nothing. He would be nameless. He is a fool if he thinks he can stand in my way. He must be terminated. 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 It was me you wanted to see, Megatron. Tell me, Double Dealer. To whom do you offer your alliance? To myself, naturally. Is that so, Double Dealer? If it were just anyone, who walked in here bearing that wretched Autobot symbol? I would have knocked their head to the ground by now. But I have heard good things about you, Double Dealer. I've heard that you never disappoint. Can I count on you? For what exactly? I want you to capture Orion Pax and bring him to me alive. Very simple, don't you think? And I will pay you handsomely for it. Simple enough. What's it worth to you? It will be plenty. The word of Megatron is always enough. I would imagine so. What are you thinking, Orion? Is there really any hope? As long as we don't let go of it, Grapple, we will have hope till the day we die. We must hope that we will defeat the Decepticons in the end. 
So, can you foresee war, Orion? Yes, Grapple. I can foresee war. But Orion, if it comes to that, we will all die. How? If, for the benefit of the future generation of Cybertron, I will die. And that may be a lot sooner than you think. Double dealer. Grapple! Where am I? Hoist? I just took you by surprise, I'm sure. But it wasn't much for you to recover from you, as you're good as new now. Yes, Hoist, I feel very fine indeed. But they've got Orion Pax. Who's got Orion Pax? Double Dealer got him. Probably for the Decepticons. Is Double Dealer not an Autobot like Gus? He's a cheap one. Always has been. Nothing but a rogue. And he's got our leader. What are we going to do, Gravel? I mean, there's nothing we can do. I'm going to go in there, find him, and rescue him. I need some help. Come with me, Hoist. Just a minute, Gravel. That fellow just blew you away. That's more than we can handle. All we are is a couple of little Autobots, hanging on a hope that we've been gone for too long. No, Hoist. We must have hope. We must save our leader. Since what have you gone so brave, Grapple? This is a fool's mission. Come to your senses. I am much more sensible now than I have ever been. I'm going to save Orion Pax. Double dealer. Oh, so I see the prisoner has finally come to his senses. How could you do this to me? I was paid to capture you, Orion Pax. It's really not hard to understand. You see, a lot of us are hard up for work these days. But don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'll leave that to Megatron. Megatron is in on this? Megatron is my client. What does Megatron want with me? <laughs> Beats me. He said he'll pay me to bring you to him alive, and that's what I'm doing. That, uh, that answers my question, I guess. Well, I'm glad I was able to. It's the least I could do, because you're going to be my prisoner after all.
Um, hello? Hi. Uh, do you know if Ultra Magnus is in? No, neither is anybody. They're off on a field mission. So, do you work here? I sure wish. It's a great academy. I hope to get in eventually. Once I can prove myself, that is. Believe me, I can do it. I think I have seen your face before at one of Orion Pax's rallies. Sure could have. I've made it on time to every single one. Hmm, yes. Hey, aren't you Bumblebee? No, Bumblebee's the yellow one. I'm Cliff Jumper. Well, it's nice to meet you, Cliff Jumper. I'm Grapple. I'm afraid it will be a while until you make it to another one of Orion Pax's rallies. He's been captured. I really must be leaving now. Wait, Orion Pax is captured? Is that what you came here to meet with Ultra Magnus about? Yes, I wanted to get Ultra Magnus' help. Well, maybe I could help. I, I know a lot of stuff. Not with this, I'm afraid, Cliff Jumper. W what is it? If you really must know, I want to get the help of another soldier to go in and rescue Orion Pax. By Primus, I'm a soldier. I, I can do it. You? Really? I thought you just said you couldn't make it into the academy. Grapple, sir. I can do it. I have the courage and I'll give it everything it takes. I really want to help. I want to be a soldier. Sorry, Cliff Jumper. Please, give me a chance. I can do it. It's very dangerous and you could die. I live for danger. Then I must ask, who am I to you that you would offer such an allegiance? I just thought, you know, maybe you were someone who would give me a chance. I understand now, I guess. I just don't belong as a soldier. Thanks anyway, sir. Guess I'll start focusing on my job at the Hall of Records. <laughs> They've already got enough soldiers anyway, I guess. Wait! Uh, uh, just a minute, if... Well, if you say you can do it, that's good enough for me. I'll give it everything I got, sir. Then you're hired. And you don't have to keep calling me, sir. I have no title. I'm just an Autobot technician. Yes, sir. Then let's move. <laughs> Yeehaw! Next up, we need to hire our strategist. And who will that be? That is exactly who we need. Barrage the Undefeated! Unmatched! Ever victorious! Motor Run Champion! Mirage? The undefeated Motor Run Champion? There's no way you'll get him to help us. Mirage is just the guy we need. But why him? He's the Motor Run Champion, after all. He has more skill and strategy than any member of the Elite Guard. We need to try and get him to help us with his skills if we can, if we want to rescue Orion Pack successfully. Excuse me, are you fellas say you're looking for Mirage the Motor Run Champion? Um, yes, why? Can you help us with that? Where'd that guy come from? Well, I was just gonna say, he's probably making his rounds at just about every casino in Cybertron by now, I'd imagine. What? You say he's gambling in the casinos? Are you sure about that? I'd check Oiltron's place first. He usually stops there to start off. Thank you, sir. 
Let's go, cliff jumper. This must be the place. You just wait here, Cliff Jumper. I'll handle this. All right. Looks like I'm winning tonight. Let's give it another go. Perfect play. What's the matter, fellas? Am I not welcome here? Mirage, uh, my name's Grapple. Oh, very interesting. If you'll kindly provide me with a pen and paper, I'll get this over with. I'm not here for your autograph. Oh, well in that case, I'm too busy to worry myself with any interviewers or movie makers, so why don't you just go and have a drink on me, and let me finish my game, huh? Finish your game and meet me out back. Wait, what did you say your name was again? It's Grapple. Huh. Scrap. Okay, Mr. Grapple, this was apparently urgent enough to interrupt my evening. So, here I am. Oh, and what's this? Who's this little red guy that carries a gun the same size as himself? Cliff Jumper's the name, and don't be thinking you're so clever to make all your little wisecracks, because we're going to see if you're up for this or not. Cliff Jumper, please put the gun away. Huh. Wait, hold on. You said you're going to see if I'm any good for this? Um, excuse me, but good for what exactly? Well, we're gonna... Cliff Jumper, just let me handle this. Well, I'm listening. You just want me to give it to you straight? Yes, uh, go on. Well, I'll warn you, you might just try to walk off right once you hear what it is. I'll walk off just the same if you don't get on with it. Well, we need your help to help a friend. See, we have a friend, and we want to help that friend with your help. What do you want me to help you to help your friend with? We want your help to rescue Orion Pax. Orion Pax, our leader? Rescue him from what? He's been captured by an Autobot trader. Double dealer. Whoa, whoa, hey, I'm patriotic and all that stuff, but uh, look, this is out of the question. If Orion Pax was captured, there's nothing I can do about it. If Orion Pax does not return to us, there will be no more freedom. Autobots among our ranks will scatter in fear, and the Decepticons will blot us out. There will not be any more freedom. Only more and more turmoil until death. Oh, boy. I wouldn't bother. He doesn't grasp the situation. He just wants to be his high-rolling self, frolicking in a casino all day. He's just a waste. Let's forget him. Alright, listen, you little Autobot. If it would satisfy you to hear it, I'm not brave. I could never undergo such a task. Now, gentlemen, if you are letting me get back to what I was doing. Motor run and gambling is all I can do. Listen, Mirage. I don't want to do it either. I'm nothing but an Autobot technician. I can't do it. But I have to. 
and so do we all. Well, what say you? Well, I guess I did just lose my month's paycheck in there anyway. I was planning a trip to steal Y, but uh, that's out of the question now. Eh, what have I got to lose? I'll do it. Hmm, an impressive answer. I was expecting much less of you. Alright, we're the team now. We're all here, everyone needed to do the task. Let's do it. I must ask what the plan is. Are you gonna take me to Megatron like he's gonna pay you to, or am I just gonna sit here in this room with you with my hands tied behind my back? When I captured you, I brought you to this cargo ship, and now we're hiding in it. Nobody has any clue I have you here. Cargo doesn't leave the bay until four days from now. If I leave then, there will be no suspicion. But if I leave now, the rest of the Autobots will liberate you from this ship and have my head. I don't mind saying that I'm being sneaky. Sounds like a very well-planned scheme. Thank you. It's my job, after all. But why must you do Megatron's bidding? He pays. Like I've explained before, it's not so hard to understand. Why won't you be true to your kind? That Autobot emblem is a sign of high regard. It is a sign that you are willing to fight for what is right. I'm not true to the Autobots or the Decepticons. I'm true to myself. Any more questions? Good. Why are we meeting in this shack? This shack is where I live, thank you very much. It's quite drab, but all things considered not too bad. Very drab though. Yeah, whatever Mirage. So, do we have any leads? Anything to work with? Well, the elite guard happened to catch a couple pictures of a cargo ship due west soon after Orion was captured. They couldn't act on it because there was no evidence that it was a double dealer, but it's the best thing we have to go on right now. It'd have to be double dealer with Orion on board. Why else would a stray cargo ship be flying west? At that exact moment, cargo ships always travel in fleets. It looks like he's using this cargo ship as a disguise to lower suspicion. He could blend in with the rest of the fleet later, the day the cargo is delivered, and carry our leader as a prisoner with nobody noticing. Cargo doesn't leave here until four days. That's probably how long we have to get our leader back. You said the ship was due west, right? That's correct. That would lead the way from the city into a vast open area near the bay. Hardly anyone would be around. A perfect place for Double Dealer to camp out for the next few days under the radar. Agreed. I think that ship is our best bet. We'll have to look out for that number. 091784. It'll be the one. So, this is the direction we need to go. Now we need a plan. Looking at the outside panels, there appears to be a central alarm system. Really? How would a motor run player like you know that? I've got to be up on my technology. Mirage is right. I can see where it runs along the anterior panels of the ship. I'll need to get to it and cut it. Shouldn't be too hard to disable. Meanwhile, I'm small enough I could slip in without being noticed. I could stand guard in case either of you guys get detected. 
perfect. I will disable the security system and meet you inside. Mirage, so you don't get caught, you can stay with me. I won't get caught. Holy scrap! Did he just turn invisible? As you just saw, or rather didn't see, I've got a way around being caught. An adaptive cloaking generator. Incredible. Then by all means, Mirage, you can roll by yourself. Now all we need to do is strategize. Yes, well, judging by the shape of the ship, there is one chamber in the middle, a control room. Probably where Orion is being held. All the rest of the space is a hall with plenty of room for cargo. There should be an entrance on the right side which is typical for cargo ships. That's where we should go in from. Huh, all that's coming from a Motoron player. Excellent. Once we're all there, if everything goes as planned, we'll attack at once. Double Dealer should be in for a surprise. Indeed. But if things do go wrong, concentrate all your efforts on freeing Orion. Each of you have a weapon? A soldier has a weapon by his side at all times. I always pack a little something, as you might have imagined. Excellent. We're ready to roll, then. I'll answer. Be prepared in case there's trouble. Hoist, come on in. What brings you here, my friend? Well, I've decided. Well, go on. Decided what? After thinking it through, I've decided. Might be dangerous, crazy mission you're going on, but I couldn't leave you to do it without your good friend me, Hoist. Well. Welcome aboard, Hoist. Hello there. I'm Mirage. Yes, I know. I've seen you on the news many times. My name's Cliffjumper. Glad you could join us. I'm glad to meet each of you. Ed, my name is Hoist. You stick with me, Hoist. Mirage and Cliffjumper here know what they've got going. We'll do what we know best. Ed, uh, the technical stuff. Let's do it, gentlemen. Well, all right. Let's roll! For our leader!
only one ship in sight. That'll be the one. Let's save our leader. I'm feeling like a hero already. We move now. Mirage, are you there? Yes, Cliff Jumper, it's me. You can't see me, but I've got your back. All right, thanks, man. Any time. Rudimentary alarm systems. I'll disable this side, you get the other. Roger. Do you know of anyone who would try and save you, Orion Pax? I'm sure my friends know better than to try something like that. I'll just see about that. <laughs> Systems down successfully. Good work. We'd better get in there before we miss the action. Whoa! So you must be Double Dealer, the traitor. That's right, and I'm gonna blow you to pieces. Good night, little fella. What? Who's doing that? Fire away, Cliff Jumper. You got it. Rawr! Cliff Jumper. Uh. I'll be okay, Mirage. Just keep shooting at him. You got it. Get off of me, you invisible fool! <sighs> Let me help you out there, Cliff Jumper. Thanks, Gravel. That's the way it's done. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fair warning, he's got missiles. That's good to know. <laughs> he's coming for us. I can't stop him. I think I found you, Mirage. I would say so. That double dealer is a tough son of a gun. You about had enough for one day, you invisible parasite? I'll say when I'm done. He's got something up his sleeve, I don't like it. I've known him to turn into a giant bird. Be ready. Just don't let him charge at us again. This is not my lucky day. I see four heroes to be terminated. Fire! How are we gonna stop this guy? Shoot at him! It's gonna take more than that, Autobot. It's, it's... No, you don't! Get him! Someone needs to free Orion while we still have the chance. I would if my back wasn't broken. I'll do it. Cover me. No. I'll do it. I have the best chance. Very well. Cover Mirage. <sighs> no. You will stay away from my prisoner. Try and stop me. No! Well, where'd you come from? I suppose I should be pleased to say that you're an Autobot, but, uh, do you work with the Double Dealer? No, Orion Pax. We have come to help you. I'm a friend of Grapples. My name is Mirage. We are getting out of here. Bye, Primus. My day is getting better already. Allow me to cut you free. Well, this is more like it. <laughs> Oh. 
stay down if you don't mind. Good to see you back, Orion. I figure he's all yours. I knew it was a risky business from the start. Go ahead, finish me off. Double Dealer, you are a traitor and you have caused us a lot of trouble. But it is not my line of duty to decide when your time has come. We have diminished your threat and so you may live. I suppose I should thank you for your consideration, Orion Pax. Don't thank me yet, Double Dealer. I'm still going to have to knock you in the head so you can't stop us from leaving here in peace. Scrap. Well, we shouldn't be hearing from that Double Dealer for a while. I should hope. Grapple and hoist, thank you. And it looks like I have a couple of new friends, too. You said your name was Mirage, and... Um, Cliff Jumper, at your service, sir. Well, I, I just don't know how to thank you all for rescuing me. You could thank us best, Orion, by coming home and resuming your position as our Autobot leader. We couldn't ask for any more, Orion. Autobots, I would be honored. This is a message to all of you brave souls who may be listening. I'm back. Yeah! So glad yeah! welcome back, back on the mission, That's Ryan. Ryan. Whether I made it back or not, I would have wanted you to realize something. We are fighting for our home, but that doesn't mean we should lose sight of the fact that we are home. Our planet Cybertron is our home here and now, and in spite of the threat of the Decepticons and the danger that stands in our way, this is where we will make our stand. We are here with our friends and we are family. We carry the same hope and the same will. We will live and we will die, generation after generation. And the battle will never end, but we will always get a chance to glimpse the future of Cybertron as long as we stick together. However long we may have, we have it here on Cybertron. Home. The Decepticons will never really get what is ours, because they cannot wash out our hope. We are already victorious, even in this hour of darkness, for we are the Autobots. Yeah! Yeah! Everybody, let's hear it for Orion! I want to thank each of you, my friends. Grapple, Hoist, Mirage, and Cliff Jumper for saving me. I can only hope I will prove to be a sufficient leader. Always, Orion. It's an honor, Orion Pax. Oh yes, and Cliff Jumper. I've made arrangements with Ultra Magnus to enter you into the training academy. What? Are you serious? I'm gonna be a soldier? You already are, Cliff Jumper. You know, I've been thinking. I'm getting a little tired of playing motor run and gambling. I might like to roll with you guys. You're welcome anytime, Mirage. We're a team now. Once more, the Decepticons do not succeed. There is hope after all, Grapple. Even I, who had spoken of it, had begun to doubt it. But the Autobots will live to see their freedom. Double Dealer, have you failed to return with Orion Pax? I was stopped by a bunch of troublemaking Autobots. They nearly killed me. But I will not fail next time. There will not be a next time, Double Dealer. Megatron. Through your failure, Double Dealer, you have proven yourself just as disposable as any other Autobot. Oh, no, Megatron. Ah! Ah! 
Orion Paxwell still be terminated.